It's the 16th of April 1945 and the Red Army starts its operation to encircle Berlin. During the past weeks, the Belarusian Front enlarged the bridgeheads across the Oder River from Stettin, Kustrin to Frankfurt an der Oder. Large amount of artillery positioned for the upcoming operations. Zelo and the defense at the Zelo Heights are to fall on the first day. Now back to the game. The German defense consists of two lines along the Reichsstraße 1. The section shown here is between Küstrin and Zelo. The ground conditions are muddy and wet. Tanks and assault guns are mainly tied to the road. The assessment regarding the condition of the ground, the design of the terrain and the focus on the main artillery for logistics and the deployment of combat units. Reichstraße 1 is the primary target for artillery. The first conclusion is that the timetable of the operation does not allow for pause. It must always move forward. In addition, we should dismount the infantry the majority of which starts mounted on the tanks. Let them advance separately at a safe distance from the road. A further point is that tank descent or tank riding is an easy way to bring your infantry with the tanks fast forward without exhausting the infantry with long marches. But tanks with mounted infantry are much slower than tanks without tank riders on it. The outcome linear is in five distance. Heavy artillery is of course in addition directed at the defensive lines.
to reduce the enemy's defensive potential, the perfect solution is smokescreen that also correlates with the premise of the operational speed. On the one hand, partially shields our column from enemy attacks, but on the other hand offers the possibility of splitting the defense and de defeating it separately. Now everything is just a question of several turns.
And this is the end of part one and the end of phase one. Thanks for watching and einen schönen Tag noch.